Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the grand opening of Paldona by Pulte. Now in this video, we are gonna be touring the Trafford model, so stay tuned. guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel if this is your very first time tuning in my name is Dale Abello with eXp Realty I'm a local realtor here in Las Vegas what we do on my channel is we go over all the new build communities here in Las Vegas so if this is something you're interested in if you're looking to move to Las Vegas or if you like looking at new home build tours do me a favor guys hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification button that way you stay up to date with all the newest communities here in Las Vegas. So welcome to the grand opening of Paldona by Pulte Homes. Now we're here at the Model Homes, which is located in Rainbow and Blue Diamond, but the community itself will be over by Tanea and Russell. Now um, the community is gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes away from the Las Vegas airport and strip. Now I will have the floor plans on the screen for you guys. They offer six different floor plans, guys, all ranging from 1866 square feet all the way up to 3,023 square feet, okay? With the base prices ranging from 460, 7,990 all the way up to 560,990. These are all going to be like two to three story homes. Now, guys, when you look at the base price, also just know that it does not come included with the lot premium and the upgrades. Now, for the upgrades, they normally put about 10 to 15 percent in upgrades. For the lot premium, lot premiums on average are about six to ten thousand dollars. Okay, so you could do the calculations. Um, another important thing to know here is with this community, they're not doing any spec homes. It's going to be all built from uh, dirt lots. Okay, so traditional route, guys, you just pick your lot, uh, pick your model, choose your upgrades, and then pay. You know, add the lot premium. Okay. Um, also, important thing to note is uh, HOA, it's $67 a month, you guys. It's gonna come included with a mini park. Um, also, there's gonna be 80 homes in the neighborhood. Now, the lot square footage is gonna be about 3,200 to 4,200 square feet. The build time is gonna be six to seven months, okay? So um, that's about it, guys. Let's get started with this tour. Welcome, everyone, to the Trafford floor plan. Now, guys, this is a three-story, 2,983 square feet, three bedrooms, Two and a half bath, two car garage. The base price is five fifty eight nine ninety. Okay. Yeah, we will be touring this. As you can see, there is a balcony, uh, guys. Uh, that is a sales office, but that's the two car garage. So um, desert landscaping is included. Paper driveways. Okay. So yeah, let's check out this three story home. Now, uh, there's a couple of different structural upgrades that you could do with this house, guys. You can upgrade, you know, the loft, the game room, covered patio, optional bedroom four. So this is a eight foot door up here. So as soon as you walk in, you're gonna be here in this middle floor, guys. So what comes standard is actually, you're gonna have standard flooring right here in this entryway. And then you're gonna have in the wet areas, the bathroom, the laundry room, you're gonna have vinyl flooring all throughout and then carpet uh everywhere else okay so what we'll do is we'll start off at the bottom we'll start off at the bottom here so welcome to the game room and um they went with the optional suite upgrade over there okay so what's standard is um you just have the extended game room so if you just want all that space you can make that as a man cave just a hangout area or, you know, you could upgrade this, have have this be a little living room area and then a bedroom right over there. So we have this door right here. This door is gonna be a six by seven door. Um, this is gonna be like your closet. Um, and then you also have like really nice storage space right over here, guys, okay? So you could store some, um, you know, like a lot of boxes over here if you need the extra storage. Now guys, uh, as far as the ceiling, um, so 
the floor that has the kitchen, which is like, you know, the middle floor, uh, that's going to be nine foot ceilings and then eight foot ceilings on the, uh, like the top floor and then the, uh, the bottom floor. Okay. So you have a nice little window right here. Okay. Definitely feels very cozy guys right over here. Now, as far as like the, the average lot goes, the average lot's gonna be about 3,200 to 4,200 square feet, okay? So you are gonna have some lots that will, um, that you could actually build the pool back here. Okay, so welcome to the backyard. Remember guys, if you move in, this, this is not included, you're gonna have a dirt lot and you have about a year to um, landscape your backyard according to the HOA, so. Uh, right over here, you're going to have your AC units, okay? And I believe they are Lennox's. Yes, they are. Okay, it's going to be 15 Sears. All right. Okay, beautiful. Also, I have a lot of uh, clients that ask me too. A lot of times in model homes, as you notice, this uh, this wall is a lot lower. Um, don't worry, when you move into your house, it won't be like this. It's gonna be standard. It's gonna be like the, the height of those walls right there. They just do these for model homes. I think for just like quicker access and you could just see the other backyards. Cool, so we got a little gate back here. All right. So welcome to the suite. Now guys, this suite is definitely, um, I might see this being very useful if, you know, you have like in-laws or you have a tenant and um, you want them to have their own like separate, um, separate space in the house. I mean, this is on the very first floor. So, you know, definitely isolated from the rest of the house. Okay. So pretty good sized room guys. Again, you're gonna, you're, you're gonna have the eight foot ceiling down here but I would say it's probably about like 12 feet that way. And then here you're gonna have your full bath, okay? What's gonna be included with a full, um, your full bath is you're gonna have the, uh, the shower tub combo. So if you want the walk-in shower like this, that is definitely optional. Um, that looks like a pretty standard toilet, guys. And then I think this is actually the standard um, countertop for the bathrooms. Now the fa the faucets are going to be uh, chrome faucets. That's what would be standard, but the matte black is optional and it's very popular. Also, you're going to get your medicine cabinet as well. So again, guys, door to the garage right over here. Um, you have your storage space. And then uh, you're gonna have the only tile you'll have in the house, if you go the standard way, is gonna be in this entryway. But yeah, guys, here, check this out. This is gonna be the um, the structural options that you can do for this floor plan. So feel free to pause the screen if you'd like. This in the top, this is gonna be like the first floor, second floor, and the third floor, okay? These are the structural options. Um, so these are the standard options, and these are gonna be the different structural options. So as you can see here, the game room is originally gonna be uh, 29 by 14, but if you wanna upgrade it and have the suite, you know, you could bring it down to like close to 18 by 14 and then have the uh, 11 by 14 suite there. Um, also on the middle floor, you can make the chef kitchen upgrade. So you'll have like the oven, microwave, and uh, the upgraded uh, appliances there. I think they're gonna be the built-in appliances. So yeah, let's take a look guys. Um, the stair railings right here, this is gonna be upgraded. Um, you got the the black mission style railing. So over here, you're gonna have the uh, bathroom and I believe the laundry room is gonna be over there as well. Here, let's check it out. Okay, cool. So you're gonna have your laundry room, uh, which won't be included guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to buy your uh, washer and dryer at the store. This is gonna be your powder room. So your guest bathroom. Stairs that go up, um, that go to the third floor, that's gonna be all the bedrooms. And uh, here guys, check this out. 
So this is the main living area. It's really nice guys. So you're gonna have your living room, kitchen, dining room, very open. You know, they used to make this floor plan, but I, f I feel like there's a wall right here kind of separating both areas. So it's very, it's really nice that you could actually have all this open area and have the balcony right over there. Yeah, pretty low, good sized balcony. Okay. Beautiful day here in Las Vegas. Starting to cool down a little bit. I believe it's uh it's under 100 degrees now which is great definitely really nice uh cozy living room now what's standard guys as far as um pre-wire you're gonna get the pre-wire to the ceiling fan that's gonna come in the great room as well as the primary bedroom so if you want the pre-wire set up for the ceiling fan in every other room you could upgrade into that okay beautiful kitchen guys look at that backsplash um and they do have the upgraded kitchen package because they have the built-in cooktop and you see that right over there you're gonna have the microwave oven otherwise you're just going to have the um standard option would be the uh the oven the oven cooktop okay i believe it's a whirlpool you're gonna have the stainless steel whirlpool uh, appliance package yeah and 36 inch cabinets is gonna be standard so i mean these are 36 inch cabinets but these are optional i think these are upgraded versions here So we got a nice little pantry right here. Very good size, guys. Good. Yeah, a nice black granite countertop. I do like that. Single basin, stainless steel sink, matte black faucet, upgraded KitchenAid dishwasher, and then KitchenAid refrigerator. Now, um, remember guys, the refrigerator, washer, and dryer um, is not included. So yeah, let's check out upstairs. Now, as far as the baseboards go, here, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you guys some more um, because in this community, for sure, they're not doing any spec homes. They, it's it's all built from lot up. So as far as the baseboards go, you're gonna get two and a quarter inch baseboards. Now these are five inch baseboards that you're seeing. Uh, pretty popular to do, the larger baseboards. Kind of has that like more modern, I don't know, it's just pretty, it's pretty popular. All right, so we'll go to the second floor. Okay, so that's what you can see as soon as you walk up. Um, you're gonna have like two bedrooms over there. You also have like the, I believe that's the bathroom. So you have this nice loft as well. The primary bedroom is gonna be over there. Jack, pretty good size loft here. Right here, we're gonna have your full bath. Dual sinks. Okay. Looks like we got the Petrofina countertop. Nice brown cabinets. Okay, 12 by 24 flooring for the tile. Now remember guys, the, the standard for the wet areas is gonna be a vinyl, okay? Um, and then you'll have like tile in the entryway. Okay, look at this beautiful upgraded tile. Definitely like that, I think it looks really nice. You also get this medicine cabinet. Those will be included in the bathrooms. So you got your transfer grill. Now this bedroom up top, this is gonna be a 10 by 10 bedroom for sure does feel a little little bit on the smaller side here
All right, welcome to this bedroom number two. Um, same size, guys, as you can see, this is gonna be a full-size bed. Okay, not a queen, but a full-size. And, um, you know, it's gonna take up most of the room in here. So you also have your standard closet. Okay, so we got the orange peel texture, the flat edge cornering. Here, as we make our way to the primary bedroom, um, so we do have this large linen closet here. Okay, so plenty of space on the top, and then you also have some space at the bottom. Okay. Cool, guys. So welcome to the primary bedroom. This has plenty of space as well. Here, let me see if I could get you guys the measurements. So for this, for this owner suite, this is gonna be closer to a uh, 17 by 17 here, okay? Yeah, 17 by 17. All right, so you have these three large windows. You also have a pre-wire for the ceiling fan up. Um, if you want to add like these lights to the bedrooms, guys, just know that um, if you're looking at standard, it doesn't include any of these lights in the bedroom. So you just have to add that. Um, I think they could range. I think it's about like, I want to say like 100 to 250, somewhere there. Okay, welcome to the, to the full bath. So we got the two sinks, the walk-in shower. Okay, upgraded flooring here. So we'll check that out. Yeah, that is uh, that is the standard um, countertop for the bathroom, which is nice. So I mean, if you you know definitely want to like cut down on costs, you could just go with a standard countertop for the for the bathrooms. Walk-in shower. Oh yeah, I love this, uh, love this tile surround. It looks really nice. Cool guys. And then this is gonna be the walk-in closet. So plenty of space. You also have attic access up there. That's about it guys. Also too, if you guys are interested in any new build communities, uh, make sure you give me a call. My info is gonna be in the description below or let your realtor know. Uh, the one thing you don't wanna do is go to a new build community on your own for your very first time or just to even call in and give them your information because once they have your information, they won't let you be represented by an agent later on and you definitely want representation um, our job is simple. We look after your best interests. We, tr we negotiate for you. We make sure we get all the max incentives the builders offer. And um, lastly, the, the builders pay the agent fees. So it's no cost to you. Win-win scenario, you guys. So definitely recommend that. But yeah, I also have a couple of links in the description below to help you start your home buying process. One is for resale homes. The other is for new builds. If you guys have any questions, want to know what the incentives are, give me a call, guys. Until then, I will catch you guys next video.